name's Alexis and today we are doing the first installment of Use What You Have. I have recreated this look, which is from Easy Neon, aka Diana. Um, this video for her is called Black and Orange. Very simple and easy. Um, so that is the look I've created. I will have the video for her linked down below, so if you want to watch that first so you know what I'm talking about, or if you want to have that open like in another tab so you can like flip back and forth so you know what I'm talking about, whatever works for you, Diana's video is in the description. <laughs> so if you want to see how I recreated this, then just keep on watching. So I already have my base done, my brows done, and my eyes primed. I think um, even when you are trying to recreate someone else's tutorial, you should still do what you know works for you for your face and your eyebrows and what you like and all that. So that's already done, so I'm going to skip right into the eyes. So Diana used a Visart palette for most of her crease colors. She did use a single orange, like gradient orange eyeshadows thing. Um, can't find what I'm looking for, but um, I don't have a color that's nearly as orange as that, um, so I'm just going to kind of skip that step. That's like that pale of an orange and that warm, but for her other crease colors, they uh, the, the other crease color she used was a like nice warm brown, so I have my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. So I'm going to use the shade Corduroy right here, and then of course she used black, so I'm going to use Jet Black also. So, let's start with the crease colors. The first crease color I'm going to take, as I always do because I know this works for me, is Latte. So I'm going to put that like above the crease. Not so much in my crease, but above it, because this will be the shade that will help that warmer, deeper brown transition into my skin tone better. And I do have Diana's video off to the side over here as reference. So if I'm looking over here, that's what I'm looking at. It's Diana's video. So with that darker brown shade, I'm again taking Corduroy. Um, her, hers looks a bit almost darker than Corduroy is, but I don't want to go too dark with this. So I am going to take Corduroy and put this in the crease and also a little bit on this outer corner right here. So through the crease and just like a teeny bit especially because I don't have a lot of lid space I'm not going to use too much but I am going to put just a little bit on this outer corner we're going to move over to the lid color the orange part of this orange and black eyeshadow look um she used like some kind of glitter or something on her lid, but I don't know what it is because I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually listed in the description. But then on top of whatever that was, she used um, a Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow and Flamethrower. I do not have that. However, I have the Lorac Pro Metal Palette and the shade Amber, and I can make that foiled just by applying it wet. So I'm going to take, uh, this is a Danielle eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to put I'm going to kind of pack some amber onto that, and then take some of my MAC Fix Plus and spray it so that it's wet, and then apply that to the lid space that we left empty that we didn't put any of that brown into. Really, any shimmery orange eyeshadow you can use because you can make it wet just by spraying some Fix Plus on it. Or you can make it wet. You can make it foiled by spraying some Fix Plus on it. Or even just water. It doesn't have to be Fix Plus. Or setting spray. I know a lot of people use setting spray. Now we're going to do the black. So I'm taking Jet Black from the uh, Lorac Pro Matte. Of course, any black eyeshadow will do. And I'm putting this right on this outer edge, this outer corner, kind of blending it over the, the um, orange right here. And then a little through the crease. She kind of did a lot of black through the crease, but I kind of like it. I'm kind of liking just a little bit of black and have it not be so intense. So I think I'm going to leave it like that and not make it so dark like she did. 
which of course is something you can do. If you don't like how dark something is, you can tone it down to your own personal preference. So I'm just going to do the same thing on this side, apply the black to the outer corner, and through the crease. She also did um, black eyeliner, but I don't want to do that. You guys know I don't really wear eyeliner, so if you wanted to wear black liner, you absolutely could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the eyeshadow. So I can't really tell if she put the brown and then the black on her lower lashes. That's kind of what it looks like she did. So I'm going to find a brush to use for this. I'm going to use this little guy, I guess. And I'm going to take corduroy first and put this on this like the outer half. I don't like that brush. And then take some of the black and put it on the lower lash line. Blend that edge. And I'm also going to take more of the amber shade. This one I think I might take dry though. There we go. And put this right here. And that inner half. Next, I'm going to fill in my tight line and my water line with my Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Crayon in a black core. I don't know if she did her tight line. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfy in my chair. I don't know if she did her tight line, but I'm going to do my tight line because I like the way it looks when I tight line, but I know she put black in her water line. Just realized I forgot to highlight my inner corner. For that, she used her highlighter, which is from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I'm going to use my highlighter, hi highlighter, which is just the NYX Illuminate and ritualistic and I'm just gonna put that right in the inner corner. Next curl your lashes and apply some mascara. Um, so Diana applied lashes. She used the Lena lashes in cocoa I believe. Um, I'm not gonna apply lashes because I don't like wearing false lashes but you can of course apply false lashes if you like. I'm not going to. I kind of like how it looks with just mascara. So she does not have her contouring blush any of that um, in her video and um, I don't really see anything listed in the description for what she used on her face besides maybe her highlighter so I'm gonna do what I would normally do so contour with my Kat Von D shade and light palette um, and go from there. So let me contour. So for blush, Diana doesn't really even look like she has any blush on. If she does, it's like a nothing color, like a color that you just put on so you have something on, but it doesn't really add much to your skin or to your face. So I am going to use one of these shades from my Too Faced Love Flush blush palette. Oops, and I'm going to use what would be kind of like my nothing shade, which is Baby Love right here. You can tell it's like nude, like a nude blush. It's really not going to add much of anything. So I'm going to take that with my blush brush and just put it on my face. So it'll add a little something, but not too much. And for highlighter, I'm just going to go back to my NYX Illuminator and highlight all of my regular places. So I'm going to go on my cheekbone and up and around my eyebrow. And these are steps also that you would, you, you would do what you would normally do instead of trying to like do something that doesn't suit your face or isn't your like personal preference or anything like that. And down the nose, just like this. And on the cupid's bow. I like to pack it onto my cupid's bow. Diana mixed three liquid lipsticks from Anastasia, three different shades. The shade she came up with is a really muted pink. And it looks to me exactly like pink plaid from Max. So that's what I'm gonna use. I, I think any kind of muted muted pink that suits your skin, so obviously if you are deeper, you would go for a more deeper pink, um, but just, it's really muted, like it's not like a really bright or vibrant pink, it's a muted pink, so that's why I'm using pink plaid, because it's a very muted, dusty pink that I know works well on my skin. And that is pink plaid on. So here is the completed look. Um, 
you, I think you can see some differences between mine and Diana's. Um, but the thing is, I've done the general concept and I've done what I like on my face and my eyes. And I think that's the whole point. So I'm trying to talk and like show you the look at the same time. That's the whole point of this series is to create the look just how you know it will work for you and what your personal preferences are. Like, if I had put, if I had made the black more intense like she did in her crease, it would have closed my eye so much because of how hooded my eyes are and the way my crease is shaped. But I put just enough black in there where it's, it's still defined. So that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Use What You Have. All the links to all of my social media, as long as Diana's social media, and the video that I use as reference will be down in the description, so check everything out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!